I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R720 server. In this video we're going to specifically focus on power supplies. Let's get going. Well hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R720 server. Do us a favor if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. Alright, well um, this is going to honestly be a, a pretty fast video as a whole. Uh, we're going to cover the different options uh, and we'll come in here and scroll in here in a second and actually show them to you. Uh, then we're going to show you how to install them, which is uh, uh, outside of the hard drives, uh, one of the easiest uh uh, swaps to do or one of the replacements to do uh, because they're hot swaps so they just pull in and out uh, you can uh, swap a bad one out while your server is running in case that's a question someone has at home uh, but as a whole this like I said will be a pretty quick video so uh, we'll go ahead and hop in show you the options and then uh, show you how to install it all right so here are your three main options the 495 watt the 750 watt and the 1100 watt those are the options, yes, that's why I said it's going to be quick and simple. Uh, I will note, you do need to make sure you have the same wattage in the server, so uh, they are redundant. There's two power supplies, um, so if you use 750, make sure you got two 750. If you use 1100, make sure you have two 1100, so uh, make sure that they match, and it's uh, relatively, like I said, a very simple, simple video. So now we're going to go ahead and show you how to uh, swap out or replace one if you had a bad one, or to upgrade it if you were just putting in, uh, let's say, 1100 watt instead of a 750 or something like that. So we'll show you how easy that is to do next. All right, so let's say that our first power supply went bad uh, and we wanted to remove it. Uh, it's very simple. You're just going to push the orange tab in, right? And you're going to pull this out and it just slides right out. Uh, since this is a 750 watt, we want to make sure we are putting back in a 750 watt. So you slide this bad boy back in nice and easy. And you'll see it when you get it all the way in. Like right now, it's not fully in the tabs going to kind of move and clip into place so let's go ahead and push that in and you saw it just pop into place so uh, it's a, again a really easy process I'll do it one more time just to show you just slide it in and pop into place so very simple one if you have a bad one um, I do recommend having redundancy I think it's a worthy investment to have uh, especially if you're using this for a corporate environment if you're using it for a home lab or something like that it's not as uh, big a deal but if you're using it for a corporate environment then I would definitely make sure uh, you don't want something as simple as a power supply going down to uh, knock your server offline so all right well that's uh, the video for today I appreciate you stopping by uh, if you found anything helpful hey click that like smash that subscribe and if you're looking for any R720s or really any other Dell HPE super Micro, Cisco, IBM, you name it. Uh, we custom build servers new and used and would love the opportunity to win your business. Please email us at sales at cloudengine.com. Take care, guys. Thanks for stopping by.